Hey everyone, I'm back and I'm attempting to shoot this very shiny mirror-like finish without too much trouble. This is a, what is this? A Huawei, Huawei? I don't know how to say that properly. Um, it's a tablet. And if you can just make out what it says here, it's an AGS2-L03. And this tablet is quite something. I picked it up from a thrift store, as I do with all my stuff that I bring home. And the challenge was it was locked. Now, I thought it would be like, you know, like a Samsung phone or something like that, which is relatively, let's just try and turn this thing on here. Here we go. This is the message you're gonna get once you hack it. <laughs> and it isn't gonna go away, but it does run. And it, there's a little story behind this one. <clears throat> so, it's starting up. So what happens is you can get to a point where you can clear, say, if this thing had a password, you can clear it. If I can get to that point, let me just punch in my password. Okay, so that the password thing's pretty easy to get be, be, beyond. It's the Google security thing. If you actually set this up with Google within a Google account, and then you do, you know, a recovery, like, that's relatively easy to do. It's just pressing the power and I believe it's the down volume. Anyway, it's pretty easy to get, oops, not trying to do that. Hang on. Sheesh. Okay, apparently it's doing a map, a map thing. Yeah. Sorry guys, it's live, it's live, it's live, and it's, oh, come on, ah, sorry, don't touch, don't touch a tablet, you know, fuck you around, um, anyway, yeah, so, don't want this to go on too long, uh, bottom line is, there is a guy out there, and I'm gonna post this stuff to, archive.org for anybody who has one of these tablets and needs, needs to learn how to crack it. It involves, oh my God, fuck. You can't touch this thing without it doing something. Ah, love tablets. Um, okay, sheesh, sorry. Sorry for the profanity. It's been one of those days. Anyway, I'm going to tell you this, the quick story here. It's going, I'm getting very distracted by this tablet's farting around. As you can see, it, it works, and I got past the Google security. Now, the Google security thing is really, really hard to circumvent now. There used to be a lot of little tricks you could do getting it to go into like a mode where you could access the OS at some, in, at some level and then get in and reset it. And all those things have been fixed. The security holes have been fixed. So how do you get this tablet now then to do its thing, to be able to be functional? Come on. How about tablets just turn themselves off? There we go. I like that. At least you can see something. So how do you get this thing to get past that? Well, it involves actually taking, there's a little ridge. You have to take a, all along the ridge, and I used a guitar pick, but you need to pry these, all these ridges open, which is probably a half hour process. If you don't want to crack the screen, I managed to get it open. And then you actually have to use a jumper. You need to actually sh ground a little, um, a little uh, trace on the main board 
and ground it against uh, like the the metal uh, shielding. I used um, a pair of tweezers just to make that connection. And you have to do that when it's booting up. So you get, apply power, you hit the, the, that little point, and then it'll go into sort of like a black screen mode. Then you have to use four different pieces of software installed on, I would use a hobby PC because, you know, I never, never trust anything I download from these sketchy sites, but you need to use four different pieces of software to kind of flash the, the system and then to get into sort of like a security into like sort of a, um, recovery mode. And then I needed to flash this security thing. And finally, after all this, using four different pieces of software and following lots of steps, I got to this point. And then of course it boots up with this warning that's been, that you can't trust this. It's been, it's been tampered with, right? But I'm not trying to sell it. I just wanted to be able to use it and it works perfectly fine. So. That's the long story of six minutes. It sh probably should have been shot in about three. But there you go, guys. It's my latest find. It's the Huawei, I think they call it a MediaPad T5. I think that's the terminology they're using. But um, yeah, it was a challenge. It took me hours and hours, but that's the way I roll. And to save you guys all the hours, I will be posting this, the solution to archive.org. And I'll make a PDF of the screen, the, the website that I went to to get all this stuff. And then you can visit the website and comment to the guy who actually did it. Uh, he did a great job. It's the only solution I found that works. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there that claims to work and there's a lot of bullshit pay me money and then you know it doesn't work and all that sort of stuff don't do that just go and spend the time and do it right and do it yourself um the challenge to me of course is just getting one of these things to work it's not worth the time i put into it and i don't think it's sellable with this big message saying it's been tampered with but i don't know maybe people will buy it i don't know but it works for me, and that's why I, I wanted the tablet. And it's, you know, it's 2018 tablet, so it runs, I think it's, is it 8? Uh, I think it's 8. Um, Android 8. And so, you know, it has access to the Google Play Store and all that stuff. So it actually is still a functional tablet. I was, you know, just looking at YouTube on it, and... YouTube studio and they both work. And so, you know, yeah, I can do the things I do on my phone with it if I wanted to. Um, but really to me, it was more about the challenge of getting it to work and I got it to work. So there you go, guys. That's it. Thanks for listening to the ramble. Hope you're having a great day and I'll get those files up on archive.org. If you have one of these tablets and you need to crack it, I found the solution. It does require opening it though. You do have to open it, and that in itself is quite a daunting task. But I did it between my fingernails and a guitar pick. I got it open, and then I did the jumper thing, and da-da, it's working. So um, really not my solution. I'm not the genius who came up with anything, but just finding a solution is half the battle, and then applying it's another half. that's the other half of the battle. And then helping other people to know that it's out there and it works is my community service. So I hope this helps somebody. And thank you for watching.